good. Oh, Majestic. Majestic by... It's Black Hoodie. I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Hello and welcome to an installment of eating one of my favorite meals on the planet. If you've been watching me for long enough, you know that once the Whopper gets in and puts the seed in the brain, it's just in there. It's got to go down. So I got two of them and a poutine because with the Whopper, a poutine just has to follow. It's standard. It's like, you know, PB&J. So I'm very, very excited to get into this. It's fresh, hot and ready. I want to get it unwrapped and get to eating and chatting and just having a good old time with you. Okay, so welcome to a BK Dream set meal and I'm ready. I hope you're ready because I'm ready. I hope you're ready because I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. All right, we got to unravel these guys. They are feeling so good. And they are wrapped perfectly, feeling so good. All right, one hombre. On to the next hombre. Two hombres out, and all that's left is to get the poutine. Mmm. So glorious. Look at that. That beautiful gravy steaming. We still got steam. I can just smell that sodium content. And it wouldn't be my channel if we didn't hit it with the ketchup. That was an aggressive, aggressive amount of ketchup today. All right. A thumbnail. So in here, I went full crazy today. We're going haywire. I went with the full sugar, cherry Coke. Now, I normally wouldn't. You guys know I hit the diets. But when somebody's offering me cherry Coke, which most places don't do here, I, uh, I have to hit it up. And I'm actually going to be so kind and generous that I will still hit you with a pour up, even though I already have so much ice and it's already in a cup. I feel like... I owe you guys a wild pour up still. In the background, you're going to hear my ice machine making ice. I'm sorry, but it is out of necessity. I'm going to need it later. So it's a little loud in the back, but please don't hate me for it. Oh my God. Oh my God. I haven't had a cherry Coke or even a, a soda that's full flavor full sugar you know what i mean the burgers have been playing on my mind but poutine you gotta get hot so let's get at least one good oh majestic majestic by look at calm huh? <laughs> i haven't seen a poutine looking that good in a long time Stretch Armstrong in this bitch. What? Those are those those choke out curds. Those are those curds that'll leave you asphyxiated. And in the funny papers. Wow. I have not seen a cheese curd in a poutine. With that much attitude. In a good long while. Couple reasons why I needed this. There's this other dude who's Canadian but lives in LA, Vartin Fresh. I've talked about him on my channel before, but he put up a Costco video with Putin and it just 
sparked my my inner Canadian really it just made me say I need some of that so I got to thinking about that then I went on a crazy like retro active YouTube wormhole adventure into old channels that I watched before mukbang was even mukbang before that even existed and there's this dude and his channel goes by the name Sarcasmosis Please check out his channel because it'll trip you out in, in the sense of like, I think it was about eight years ago now. He basically, at least for me, was like the initiator of like random eating videos. And it's his dude. I'd say he was probably in his 30s, mid 30s, mid to late 30s at the time. I think he's probably in his 40s now. This is so, so good. The sauce ratios are so perfect. Yeah, but this dude, he uh, he had this uh, this this series called Watch Me Eat. I'm pretty sure it started at his job in the mall. He worked in a suit store. And he would always wear a suit. And he'd get like mall court food or mall food court food and film himself and uh, eat on camera and he has like a very sarcastic sar hence the name sarcasmosis uh, sense of humor and he would just like, you could tell like he loved eating bad food, but he would also, I feel like shit on it a lot. Like he would make fun of the food he was eating, saying like how terrible and disgusting and bad it is. And like, on one hand, you like, you could tell that he loved eating it, but on the other hand, he was like trying to. almost defense mechanism it like you know how if like, you make fun of yourself first then no one can make fun of you because you've already beaten them to the punchline straight ice he's very much like that but man I used to watch that guy 
all the time back when YouTube was like a more pure space. Less of a business for people. And, uh, channel provided me with many nights of starved entertainment and some pretty good laughs so anyways I ended up on his channel today so basically I wanted to uh, ch to check back in on his channel after all this time and see when's the last time he uploaded and oddly enough it wasn't that long ago it was like a couple months but he's taken some time gaps obviously like during his um, what nine years on YouTube and I was just thinking to myself He must be privy to the mukbang game. Man, these, these burgers are made so perfectly today. Unreal. But he must know about it. There's no way. He you couldn't you couldn't avoid it. Like they're just everywhere. If you go on YouTube you're gonna see a mukbang probably. And his most recent video was a, another episode of his show called Watch Me Eat, a show about eating. And, uh, you know, he didn't use the title muk mukbang or anything. So the man's got integrity because he, he's still keeping his OG show name from back in like 2012. But I wonder what he thinks. I'd love to sit down with this dude because he seems funny as fuck. Like I think him and I would actually have some drinks and shoot the shit. But I wonder what he thinks about the phenomena. That really took off and became like a whole wave, a whole movement. But he just started doing it before it was a thing. When he was bored at work selling suits. <laughs> you know what I mean? Weird to think about. And oh, how the times have changed. And then, of course, being on his videos, that led me right back to and what made me crave the Whopper was my favorite Whopper video on the internet ever. And uh, it's called Me Eating Whopper. And it's from like 2011. And I've talked about it on this channel once before. Or maybe twice. But it's this Asian kid. He's probably like 16, 17. And 
you can tell that him and his family just got in from like doing errands, grocery shopping and shit. And he pulls up just in the living room very in informally with a Whopper and his parents are in the background like putting away groceries. And his sister's like floating around and him and his sister getting a little like sibling spat. But he crushes a Whopper and it's just pure art. Cause like it wasn't like an intentional mukbang kind of thing. It was just so random, but the way he eats it the way that the Whopper, like, it's, like, extra saucy. The way that he makes it sound. Just everything about how he eats it just always makes me crave a Whopper. So that's why I ended up on these boys today. hilarious trip down memory lane I'll leave the links to both Sarcasmosis and the Whopper video I'll pin it in the comments I'm not passionate about it okay that second burger really put me over the edge I did eat quite a lot of these but the cheese got all used up and it's like not as enjoyable but we'll almost finish okay I gotta leave it that that's all I can do Two Whoppers is, is not a joke amount of food. Two Whoppers goes hard. Okay. Well, those two Whoppers were incredible, to be honest. Like, so good. Like, those were constructed perfectly. I asked for extra everything on it. Like, and just the amount of tomato on there amount of mayo and ketchup so good hope you guys enjoyed that one till the next one you know what to do eat good live well and stay true